The Lexus NX Premium Compact SUV is in its second generation and the anticipation around it has been huge. That's because it also marks the arrival of the first plug-in hybrid from the Lexus brand ever. In fact, the new model comes with many variants, from an entry petrol to a sport model, a hybrid and now that PHEV or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. All but the entry model have all-wheel drive capability as standard. I am testing the new NX350H and 450H Plus in Los Angeles, California. The previous NX300H was on sale in India too and that was only in its conventional hybrid avatar. And now Lexus has announced the NX350H for India too. Yes, getting the new generation makes sense, of course. But given the move towards electrics in India, slow as it may be, Lexus could have played smart and brought us the PHEV to get its buyers and, more importantly, its own network inducted into the plug-in era. But there is a minimum $14,000 difference in the starting prices of the Lexus NX350H and 450H Plus, and that must have played a role. Luckily, as I mentioned, I have driven both the hybrid variants, and in terms of cabin and trim, the two cars are very similar anyway. In performance terms, the 450H Plus outshines the 350H for obvious reasons. Bigger battery, more power, sharper dynamics, and more equipment and luxury as standard. The good news is that we will likely get a loaded version of the 350H with many things that may be optional being standard on our spec. It's a nice ample sized car. The perception of quality really comes through in terms of the design, the styling and even the build itself. But it's the face that's really attractive. Especially here in the US market, people love how this car looks and with good reason. It's sharp, good looking, very grand. The NX carries forward the agile looks and profile of its predecessor. While the designers have consciously made the car appear more luxurious and larger, and it has grown in dimensions over the first gen anyway. The larger face and wider, deeper grille help that cause, and that is good since the last car tended to look smaller than its rivals while appearing sportier. The new NX uses sharp LED lighting front and back, and there is a full red LED strip that goes right across the tailgate to connect the tail lights. The whole look is very sharp and the finish flawless. The new Lexus identity of having the name spelt out at the rear also makes an appearance here. The L in the oval housing logo still lives on the front grille. The design is more evolutionary than radically different from the previous generation. On the 350H, it's 18-inch wheels as standard and 20-inch optional. On the 450H+, Plus, the larger wheels are standard. Inside though, the cabin looks totally new. This is especially true of the higher variants which come across as luxurious and well-appointed. There's a ton of equipment on offer on the top end too. Call it the Tesla effect, but you get giant screens, virtual cluster. These things have just become par for the course in the luxury segment. This screen in particular, it's huge, but what's nice is that it's also landscape and it's end to end. So it gives you a whole lot of information. It's very easy to use when you're driving. And uh, of course, the displays can be customized as well. That massive 14-inch screen is only standard on the 450H Plus variants. On the 350H, you get a smaller 9.8-inch screen, but I reckon Lexus India will give us the optional larger one as standard. The infotainment also provides voice commands, wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, 
wireless phone charging and a 10-speaker Lexus sound system. The NX has multiple drive trains as I mentioned and these range from a 199 bhp 2.5 litre petrol on the NX 250, 270 bhp 2.4 litre turbocharged petrol on the NX 350 and 350 F Sport. And then you have the hybrid models which interest us more. The NX 350H and 450H Plus use the same 2.5 litre engine with between 180 and 190 bhp outputs. That is married to a hybrid system in both. On the 350H, it's a conventional unit that uses a smaller 259 volt lithium ion battery and the combined system output stands at 235 bhp. On the 450H Plus, it's a plug-in and so a larger 355 volt battery is in play with a higher 290 horses on offer. Both have two permanent magnet motors, one at each axle, to provide all-time all-wheel drive. On both cars, the transmission is an electronically controlled CVT. So Lexus has been playing the hybrid game for several generations now, and so it's really perfected the hybrid system. It's very smooth, the transition between electric and gasoline, and overall, just the refinement that comes through. That part's no surprise, right? What is a surprise for me has been the ride quality and the feel of the steering. A lot more mature, a lot heftier and stiffer. It really feels like it's come of age and uh, that's the part I wasn't expecting. The 450H Plus does feel more obviously powerful and allows for nearly 60 kilometers of pure electric driving. On the 350H though, you get an immense sense of refinement and that evident maturity of the seamless hybrid system in operation is the car's hallmark. The NX also has excellent ride quality. The feeling is one of hushed sophistication even when the road surface may not be the best. The handling is also good and it will keep most drivers interested. The top-end F Sport variants do get an adaptive suspension that delivers much nicer handling. But we won't get that anyway. The Lexus NX is not as sporty and dynamic as the Germans in this class, but the comfort and refinement are what win you over. I expect prices to stay in the 60 to 65 lakh rupee range for the 350H and if the 450H Plus plug-in hybrid does arrive later, then expect things to go well north of 70 lakh rupees.